So we have a square prism. If you cut incline, right? Then how it will look? It will look like this. So this is a square prism. If you cut like this, incline at 45 degree, this is how it will appear. So we'll have four points. One A, P A, P B, P C, P D. Right? And if you develop, how it will look? So in this sum, we are going to draw front view, sectional top view, how it will look from the top, sectional side view, auxiliary top view and development. First we will draw XY line. We will draw square which is inclined at 45-45 degree. Right? Then we project up. So this is you'll get front view top view. Now if I want to draw side view, I'll take 45 degree and I will draw side view. If I want to draw development, I will extend. I will take A to B. See, if I name this A, B, C, D, right? This is A dash, B dash, D dash, C dash. So because it is front view, so that's why I'm writing dash. In side view, In side view, it will be double dash. So we have top view, front view, side view and development. Now for development, you take A to B. How much is A to B? 30, right? So you take A to B and you cut here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times you cut. Hide, you take this. So this is development. We don't have to draw square up and down because we, we are going to draw only lateral development. Y is over here. X is over here. Right? X, Y. So, and if I want to draw auxiliary, I can draw 45 degree. See, in this they haven't mentioned any angle, but the cutting plane line is 45 degree. So, we will draw this at 45 degree. Then from C dash, we will draw 45 degree. From B dash, D dash, we will draw 45 degree. From A dash, we will draw 45 degree. This is 45, so this will be also 45. It should be 90 degree. Right? Then you take xy to a, see this, take xy to a and on this line, this is a, this is bd and this is c. So take xy to a and from a you cut on this side, you will get a. Then take xy to d, this distance, see this vertical distance. And here, wherever it will cut, from this d you will get d. Then take xy to b, see this, xy to b. And from this point B, you cut it over here, so you will get B. Then take XY to C. And from here you cut on this side, so you will get C. When you join, you will get ABCD. Now same thing will be down also. So same way you project this 45. Take XY to A, this is again A. B, D, C. See how, I'm see how I'm writing this? A, this bottom point. A, B, D. So this is B, D. C. So this is C. Now I'll take X, Y to A. I will cut it over here. X, Y to D. I will cut over here. X, Y to C. I will cut it over here. X, Y to B. So I'll get this part. Right? Now, you join lightly. Right now we are not talking about dark and dotted. That we will see afterwards. But overall if you see this part is nearer to you. The other, then upper, upper part will be dark. Lower part will be dotted. So this will be dotted. Because that is away from observer. See observer is seeing it from this side. Right? The part which is nearer to him will be dark. Boundary line will be dark. This part is away from him. So that's why it is a dotted corner. So all the lines passing through this will be dotted. So now we are done with basic structure. Now they have given inclined plane VT which is which is called vertical trace which is inclined at 45 degree. Passing through this corner. So what we will draw in front view? The remaining part will be dark. So see this. This much portion will be dark. Now if you cut over here. So we got point P A dash. It is cutting on A, right? This is P A. Here we got P B dash, P D dash. 
so this is pd this is pb this is pc dash this is pc so this entire part will be dark and this will be hatch generally we avoid hatching at 45 degree in this case especially in this otherwise we will draw incline at 45 degree only but in this if you want to draw 45 it is okay but still we avoid otherwise it look, look, looks like a design so that's why we avoid drawing at 45 degree so this is sectional top view this is front view dimensioning you know this is 30 now we need to draw we need to write everything and this is 60 Now we'll see side view. So when you want to draw side view, you you have to project line from PA dash. Wherever it will cut on A double dash, that is PA double dash. See all of you got this? So that's why naming is important. You extend from here, wherever it will, wherever it will cut on A double dash, that is PA double dash. B and D, you extend from here. Wherever it will cut on B double dash, that is PB double dash. Wherever it will cut on D double dash, that is PD double dash. C, wherever, wherever it will cut on C double dash, that is PC double dash. You join this. This will be dark. So whatever I am drawing with yellow chalk will be dark. We can, this, we can show this behind line which is dotted. Because you, you can't see that edge and this line will be inclined. These are hatching lines. So this is sectional side view. Now we will draw development. Development we write capital. So A, B, C, D, A, it will be capital. Now we take line from here. P, A dash. Wherever it will cut on A, that is point P, A. This is point P, A. B and D, extend. Wherever it will cut on B, that is point P, B. This is point PD. C. Wherever you cut on C, that is point PC. Now join this. This is development. Development of the remaining solid. Now we will draw auxiliary. Now we are drawing auxiliary top view. So which is next to top view. See this is auxiliary top view. Which will be next to top view. And what we are transferring? We are transferring width. See this width we are transferring. Now take PC dash. Wherever it will cut that is point PC. It is always advisable to draw main solid and then you take the cut points. Extend from here, B and D, this is B, this is D, wherever, wherever it will cut on B, that is PB, wherever it will cut on D, that is PD, extend PA dash, wherever it will cut on A, that is PA, This will be dotted and we will draw hatch lines. All of you got this? So we are done with front view, sectional side view, development of the remaining solid and auxiliary top view as well as sectional top view.